Hello and welcome into another edition of Ball State Sports LinkedIn. I'm Chris Renkel. Well, Worthen Arena was rocking this past weekend as the women's volleyball team played their two biggest games of the season against Western Michigan and Northern Illinois. The Cardinals went into the weekend tied for second with Western in the MAC. And on Halloween weekend, the Cardinals were scary as they beat Western three games to two and swept the Huskies right out of the building three games to none. Now that it's all said and done, the Cardinals are tied for first place with Eastern Michigan. After the game, Coach Shondell talked about the big wins. I just felt good from the beginning of the match. and uh, The girls played with good energy and, and played pretty much air-free volleyball most tonight. And really, really took out a really, really good Northern Illinois team with 123 matches. The football team traveled to Kent, Ohio to take on the Kent State Golden Flashes this weekend. Ball State trying to stay bowl eligible for the season, but there would be no treats as the Golden Flashes dominant defense gave Ball State trouble all over the place. Keith Wending threw three interceptions on the day, and Eric Williams fumbled the ball on a key drive as the Cardinals fall to the Golden Flashes 33-14, officially ending Ball State's dreams of going to a bowl game this season. After the game, Coach Parrish said that turnovers were what doomed the team. You got to take care of the little things, and uh, we just we can't, we can't turn the ball over either. We cannot turn the ball over, particularly when they're errors we can control. So, well, the women's golf season may be over, but one Cardinal keeps playing on. Senior Brittany Kelly is escaping the cold and winds of Muncie to go to Florida for a chance to play on the LPGA Tour. Over a three-round tournament, Kelly must shoot under 87 in all three rounds to avoid being automatically cut. Kelly averaged a 75.31 during the Cardinals' fall season and had three top 10 finishes, including a second-place finish at the Iowa Hawkeye Intercollegiate and a fourth-place finish at the Penn State Nittany Lion Invitational. Those who do qualify from the tournament will be eligible for the LPGA Tour in 2011. And finally, the women's field hockey team finished their season with a 3-1 loss to Central Michigan on senior day. Senior defender Elizabeth Blom scored her second goal of this season, while fellow defensive players Mara Sawicki and Gretchen Lowell combined for three saves. Junior goalkeeper Chelsea Mitchell had five saves in the cage. And with that loss, the Cardinals have secured a sixth seed in the MAC tournament, where they will play three-seed Ohio at Mount Pleasant, Michigan on Thursday. Well, that wraps up this episode of Ball State Sports LinkedIn. Head on over to bsusportslink.com for even more Ball State Sports coverage. We'd also like to thank our partners at First Merchants Bank. For all of us here at SportsLink, I'm Chris Rankle, and now you're LinkedIn.